And good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on, everybody? My name is Bob from Aesthetic Imprints, and I run a custom apparel screen printing and embroidery company all out of my parents' basement. And today in this video, I'm taking you guys along with me in the day in our life of a screen print shop owner from home. So today we got a busy day. We got a lot of things to do. Let me show you. So one of them being these premium heavyweight hoodies that we got to do. We got to do a full embroidery on the front on all of these. And these are the IND 5000s. Um, really heavyweight, heavyweight hoodies right there. Pink is for like the October breast cancer awareness. So it's going to be perfect. And then we also got these beanies right here that we got done. This is actually a patch camera's not gonna really focus on that but that's a patch that was adhered on there and these turned out real well we got a big batch of those and yeah and that's not all ignore the mess we also got these shirts to do and then these shirts to do as well the red acid wash t-shirts that's gonna be fire so we got a lot on our plate. I got to go ahead and make some screens, get some artwork preparation done, fill, uh, print out the film positives. And we're also going to be embroidering all throughout the day as well. Because, you know, that takes time too, especially when it's a big design like that. So I'm going to get to doing this artwork. <music> Alright, well, now while those screens dry, let's go ahead and start getting the screen print press ready. So what I'm going to do is turn on the conveyor dryer and the flash dryer so that warms up and then switch the pallet tape. And just like that, I got the screen set up, the pallets all ready to go, and the conveyor dryer and everything is heated up. So what I'm going to do now is load the screen up with ink, do a test print, and make sure everything is going good. So let's go do that. And now that we got the test print all done right here, as you can see, it turned out fire. The print is smooth. Everything looks good. Stretch test because we want to make sure that print isn't cracking or going to fade away into the wash. As you can see, I'm stretching that bad boy hard. It's not a baby stretch. It's a stretch and nothing's cracking. Let's begin full production. <laughs>
now that we got this first batch of shirts done, as you can see, it's coming out. I threw in a little gift of tie-dye and an extra t-shirt, but flip this over. These shirts turned out great. Everything is good. Now we got to go ahead and stack those up before they wrinkle. Put this here for now. And now we got another batch of t-shirts. Let me grab that. And this is a small run, nothing crazy. One color front, one color back. So I'm gonna get this going. All right, and now we got the embroidery machine running over here, and then we just wrapped up the shirt. The shirts turned out great. Simple one color print. And then we got the embroidery machine here. Doing its thing. So yeah, it's a busy day here. We still got a lot of those hoodies to do. Uh, we got all of those right there that need to be embroidered and that's a full embroidery. So it takes a while. It's a good thing I have two heads, but if I had a six head, but it's all right. All right, y'all, it's been a few hours. We got those shirts done, but I've been dealing with some embroidery issues and I've been just going back and forth with all of that. As you can see, we got this running. So we got that running now, but I was dealing with some issues where if you check this thread out right here, uh, it was just loose right on the hammer. But what we ended up finding out was that the satin stitch is just a little too wide there and it's just always going to be loose. I'm just dealing with that issue. So I switched up the stitch style for that chiseled X logo and then the rest is still going to be a satin stitch and that's going to turn out well. So now it's all going good. So there was a slight delay on that, but we're getting there. We're getting that done. Day is still young. We got all this stuff done, but we got all these hoodies to do. And being 20,000 stitches, it takes at least 20 to 30 minutes to stitch that out per hoodie. So it eats up some time for sure. Pantone color of the day today is pink breast cancer awareness hoodie season everything all at once it's gonna be fire and this is a real nice colorway and if you haven't already make sure you follow me on Instagram because throughout the day I'm always posting stories on what I'm doing such as ink mixing hoodies I'm working on whatever I'm printing on whatever I'm working on follow me on Instagram right here because I'm always uploading on there and that's a nice color now let's start registering those screens onto the press. It's a simple two color screen print on a lot of hoodies. So we also got to unbox those hoodies. So let's go do that. So side note, if you guys haven't watched already my new video about me 
getting into a new shop check it out right here because i announced about the new shop and showing you guys around and i posted that today i don't know when you guys are going to see this but i've been getting a ton of love on there youtube comments uh you guys all congratulating me showing love i didn't even know this many people were going to show love but i appreciate each and every one of you guys i just want to let you guys know i could not have done it without you all showing love supporting i got this awesome deep um direct message on instagram just now by zell randall shout out to her um i'm gonna read it out right out. um i seen your youtube video feature your new location my daughter heard me screaming congratulations i ran and ran in my home office frantic thinking something was wrong when i pointed to the tv and told her why i was excited she became happy too we are happy for you it's nothing like seeing good people prosper may god continue to bless you love zell Zell, I appreciate you and your daughter for showing love and honestly just being with me along this whole entire journey. Shout out to each and every one of you showing love, sending me messages. It really, really touches my heart and I can't believe I have so many supporters like you all. So thank you so much. I can't thank you enough, honestly. Let's get back to the video. All right, everybody, we got the hoodies all opened up right here. We're missing about 24 hoodies still. They haven't came yet. Um, I always check in everything and count everything in just to make sure everything is here. And it's a good thing we do count it in because now we know we're missing a bunch of hoodies. We're missing 24 hoodies, but we still have a good amount of them right here. So we can still get production started. So let's go ahead and start registering the screens. I did some test prints, let the conveyor dryer heat up, do its thing, and I did some test prints on t-shirts and everything, and we got the hoodie print right here. I don't know if y'all can, you know what, let me. Quick pause on that thing so y'all can hear me. Good thing about those machines is that you can pause it and resume it from anywhere, and any it'll just resume where it stopped. So. We got our test print right here. As you can see, that pink looks good. The white ink looks good. Everything looks good. Stretching, scratching, none of it is peeling or coming off. As you can see, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and begin production on both these hoodies and the embroidered hoodies. So we got a lot to do, so let's get started. Everybody, it's the next day, it's the morning. I got these, all of the hoodies done. They turn out great. Never focuses, but these are all done now. And also, we finished up the embroidery job right here as well. Why is it so high? A good stack of hoodies right there. These turn out clean. And of course, always throw in a little goodie. This is like a military green heavyweight hoodie with black embroidery, super clean. Now, I got so much going on. I got so much work to do, but I also gotta go work on that shop because those floors need to be cleaned and I need to get going because time 
is of the essence. So I'm actually going to stop right here. Since these are all done, I'm waiting for 12 more hoodies to come in. So whenever those come in, I'm going to do that. But I'm going to actually go to the shop and work on the shop and try to fix things. I got to go to Rentals Unlimited. Go rent a tool for cleaning the screens. Yo, bro. Where is this? I got to go rent. What am I saying? I got to go rent a tool. Let's go do that. Quick check in. I got straight to work. That's the tool we rented. It's just basically a 16 inch scrubber. As you can see, went to town with it. It's not gonna clean up this stuff. As you can see, that's just stained onto the tile, but it's getting rid of the dirt pretty good. I wish it would do a little better, but after a few times of going through it, I think it's gonna do the job. That's what it used to look like. As you can see, this side we haven't touched. But this we have here, we need to do a little more, but here it's kind of getting the job done. Yeah, you know, we're putting in work over here. I don't know if y'all want to see this type of content or not, but I'm just taking y'all along with me, printing t-shirts, printing hoodies. We're doing a little bit of everything. Let me know if you guys want to continue and see vlogs like this of getting this shop made, but I'm going to get back to it. squeegee because all this water that I am cleaning it with it's all staying here so I'm gonna try to get a floor squeegee and scrub it all out because what's happening is I'm cleaning it and it's getting better but all that dirty water is staying on the floor so it's kind of just drying dirty so it's you got to get that squeegee I want to get that squeegee take all the dirty water out and do it but until then I'm gonna keep scrubbing but I need an extension cord because this thing won't reach. But it's looking all right. It's looking all right. Still looks like, you know what, but we're getting there. It's a big improvement from, from what it was. But I think this, these stains are definitely going to stay. It's all right. Hey, you know, this is all a grind. I still got to get back and finish up some hoodies and cut the backing off those pink hoodies that we embroidered, but we'll get to it. All right, quick side note. I got to... I got to order this sign for the storefront before I forget, and I want to get that ordered. So... I got a motherfucking pay up. What's going on, everybody? It's actually the next day. We're on day three when it comes to this video. I know it's probably a long video. I hope y'all are, if y'all are still watching this video, shout out to y'all. But we got all of these hoodies done. I'm sure y'all seen it. But the rest of them just came through. So there's about 12 of them that we got to bang out real quick. And yesterday, it just became late. Me and my dad were there working on the shop, cleaning the floors. He was working on something else. I was there and then we just got back and just, yeah. So I still got to do this too. These hoodies are all done. All right, go down. Yeah, so these hoodies are all done. As you can see, I'm just trimming away all the backings. Huge pile, but I'm just stacking them up right there. So we got a lot, so we got a finish up these last minute things on the those hoodies screen printed hoodies and the embroidered hoodies and then I'm going to drop these hoodies off today and yeah as you guys can see I gave myself a cut as well I fun fact I cut my own hair so when it comes to haircuts lineups beards all of that low overhead on this side we're saving money I just do it myself anyways let's get back to the video 
And actually, that's going to be the end to this video right here. I'm going to end it right here. There's just This video has been all over the place. So shout out to you if you've been watching this video. There's just been so much going on. I know I've been MIA. I just haven't been posting as much just because there's so much going on with inspections. And it's just so much with the shop. And at the same time, I got to fulfill orders here. So if you have been reaching out to me for orders or you've placed orders with me and communication has been slow, I apologize. There's just so much going on. I'm dealing with the shop and trying to build the business at the same time. And just I'm just trying to build a strong foundation so that these issues are all sorted out. So I appreciate it. Always remember, no grind, no glory. We're grinding on this side. I hope you are too. Earn your glory, earn your flowers, and I'll see you all in the next one. I'm going to keep you guys up to date. If you want to place custom apparel orders with me, reach out to me on Instagram or just follow me in general to stay up to date with me. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace. So, so much. Man, that's crazy. I love it. Shout out to you all.